Hi there. We're going to talk about the six basic functions because we're going to be doing things to them. We're going to be moving them left and right. We're going to be moving them up and down. We're going to be turning them upside down. We're going to be shifting them left and right across the y-axis. And we're even going to shift them diagonally across the origin. These are called transformations. So you have to know what you're transforming before we transform anything. Let's take a look. This is the graph of y equals x. You know y equals x. It's a diagonal line going through the origin of what we call the Cartesian plane, the x and y axes y equals x, or f of x equals x. This is the graph of y equals x squared, or f of x equals x squared. This is the graph of y equals x cubed, or y equals x to the third power, or f of x equals x to the third power. This is the graph of y equals the square root of x, or f of x equals the square root of x. It kind of curves gently up from the origin, keeps going gently up forever, and it goes to the right forever. This is the graph of y equals the cube root of x, or f of x equals the cube root of x. Comes from negative infinity, and then it jogs above the x-axis, going out to x equals positive infinity. All right, so it starts out below the x-axis, ends up above the x-axis, and where it jogs, is right here at the origin. This is a graph you may not have seen before. This is the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. Remember the absolute value function. It turns every number positive. Like y equals the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. All right, so it looks like a V, and it reaches its lowest point there at the origin. It's a sharp V. Now, the graphing calculator makes it look flat there. It's not flat. It comes to a sharp point at the origin. Y equals the absolute value of X, or F of X equals the absolute value of X. This one, I know you've seen before, but it's so weird you want to forget it. This is the graph of y equals 1 over x, or f of x equals 1 over x. It has two parts. It has this part, and it has this part. And the two are not connected. And we'll talk about this graph much more. We've already talked about it some, and we have a lot more to go. But tonight, what we're talking about is the six basic functions. There they are.